Good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning prayer. How are you doing this morning? I hope and pray you're doing well. <clears throat> Please tell me if you can hear me well. Praise God, praise God, the precious people of God. Welcome, welcome to our daily prayer. Today is day four. What a great joy. Let me know if it got better, if it got a little bit louder. Now it's better, a little louder. Praise God, precious people of God. I hope and pray you're doing well. What a great joy to call upon Jesus. As you can see in the title this morning, we are praying. We are believing God in prayer. I am praying that God will surprise you, that God will bless you as you continue to seek God, as you continue to cry out to God in prayer. Amen. I was meditating this word this morning. If you have your Bible, you can open your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2. The whole chapter blessed me so much. Well, let's just begin from verse 9. Listen to what the Word of God says in verse 9. But uh, it's, it's written, eyes has, no, uh, eye, ha, eye has not seen, ears have not heard, nor, the, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. Once again, eyes has not seen, nor ears heard, nor have entered into the heart of a man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed to, God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we, we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we have also these things we have also speak, not in words which, which man's wisdom teach, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they have because they are spiritually discerned but he who is but he who is spiritual judges all things yeah he himself rightly judged himself is rightly judged by no one for he who knows the mind 
of the Lord that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. Amen. I am praying this morning with you that God will continue to reveal to you the plans, the purpose for your life. God's purpose for your life is greater, is better, is bigger than anything. Anything that this world can offer to you, anything that you can come up with, any idea, any dream that you have, nothing can compare to the, to the plans of God for your life. What God got in store for you is bigger than anything that you can come up with. God's plans for your life is amazing and beautiful. As the word says, eyes has not seen, no ears have heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But we thank God for his Holy Spirit because he revealed to us through the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am praying today that God will surprise you, that God will bless you this month as we continue to pray. That God continue to draw you closer to Him. Amen. Let us call upon Jesus this morning. Let's call upon the Lord. <clears throat> also, I want to quickly remind all of you before we pray, you know, for uh, those who've been fasting with us, you know, we said, you know, been mentioning that you know, every beginning of the prayer challenge, we just started four days ago, our new prayer challenge for this month, and we do the fasting, amen, we take the first three days or 72 hours to pray and fast, and um, I personally just finished this morning my fasting, and uh, for those who, uh, those who are finishing today as well, I pray that the Lord continues to strengthen you to fast. People of God, it's such a great blessing to hear the number of people who are fasting for the first time. You know, I've been uh, receiving very encouraging uh, uh, testimonies of people say, Fernando, this is my first fasting. This is the first time that I've done a spiritual fasting. How many of you understand, how many of you know that spiritual fasting or biblical fasting is different than, you know, fasting for weight loss and fasting, you know, or going without food. Fasting, biblical fasting, is not starvation, is not just going without food for, you know, a few days, a couple days. Biblical fasting is all about drawing closer to Jesus. Amen. Fasting, biblical fasting, is about abstaining for, from food, amen, to draw closer to Jesus. You change the spiritual, you change the natural for the spiritual. You take a break from food, from the distractions of this world, and you draw closer to the Lord. And it's really important, people of God, that you use that fasting time, the, the time that you would be eating, the time that you often eat. You take that time to read your Bible, to pray, to seek God. That is a spiritual fasting. Spiritual fasting is not about just going without food. If you're just going without food, if you're not praying, you're not doing the right way. We're talking about biblical fasting. It is about taking that time to pray, to seek God. So uh, I just finished mine this morning. And uh, for those who, uh, those who are finishing today as well, I pray that God blesses you. 
you know, I start in a, you know, day first day around uh, um, six in the morning, and then I go all the way to the beginning of uh, of day four to complete the seventy two hours to f complete three days straight, and uh, and you don't need to do that. If you do that, praise God. But you know, I, as I said, uh, uh, I I really want this fasting that we do in the beginning of each uh, prayer challenge to inspire. This is not an obligation. This is a, this is an invitation. I want to, you know, I want to encourage people to, you know, to pray and fast as a as a lifestyle, not just something you do once a year. But on a regular basis, you know, that's a really important thing in our walk with the Lord. Praise God. Prayer and fasting, it will help you. Praise the Lord. So, people of God, let us pray. Let us call upon Jesus. Let us call upon the Lord. <clears throat> Amen. Let us pray. Would you please pray with me? Close your eyes. Give your full attention to Jesus as we pray this morning. Amen. Let us call upon the Lord. Let us call upon Jesus. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your faithfulness. I thank you. Because eyes has not seen nor ears have heard the things that you have prepared for those who love you. I thank you so much for everything that you are doing in us. All the wonderful blessings, all the wonderful things that you have prepared for us. We give you all the glory and we give you all the praise for your faithfulness and for your goodness. We give you all the praise and all the glory for everything that you have done and for everything that you're going to do in us, Father God. We praise you and we worship you for your goodness and for your faithfulness. We worship you and we praise you because you are a good God. You are a great God. I pray for everyone, for my brother and my sister, everyone who is praying every day, who is pressing on to you in prayer, everyone, Father God, that made a commitment to take this whole month of April to pray, to seek your face. Lord God, your word promises that if we seek you, we will find you when we seek you with all our hearts. If we seek you, if we go after you, Lord God, you promise. You promise, Lord God, that we'll be found by you. That we'll find you. That we'll find your presence. Oh God, I pray for my brother, my sister today. I pray for every single one of them. I pray, Father God, that you surprise them. This is the prayer. This is the cry of my heart. This is what I pray, Lord God, for my brother, my sister today. That you surprise them. That you bless them. That this day, Lord God, will be a day marked by your goodness in the life of my brother, my sister. Lord God, I pray that you reveal to them through the Holy Spirit all the wonderful, wonderful plans, the wonderful blessings that you have in store for them. I pray, Heavenly Father, reveal to them you are not a God of confusion. You are not a God that plays hide and seek with your children. You are not playing with our feelings. You don't play with our feelings. You are a real God, a loving Father that reveal yourself to your sons and daughters, to those who seek your face. 
And that's what we desire. That's what we long for. We long for more of you. We long to know your will for our lives. We long to step into your calling and purpose. We long to walk in the center of your will. I pray for my brother, my sister this morning. I pray, Father, that you reveal to them, that you show them what you have in store for them. I pray, Father God, specifically for those who feel that they have no direction for their lives. They feel that they, uh, that they, they, ha they lack clarity and direction. They feel lost. I pray, Father, that you show them. That you show the beautiful plan and purpose that you have for them. I pray that you show them how great, how awesome it is, the things that you have prepared for them. I pray, Father God, for my brother, my sister today, that you bless them abundantly. I pray, Father God, that you surprise them. I pray, surprise each and every one of them with your goodness. I pray that you answer the cry of their hearts. I pray, Father God, that you answer, that you show them the beautiful things that you have in store for them. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Father God, I pray that you make it clear I pray that you make a clear the, the path, the things that you got in store for them. I pray, Father God, that you remove confusion from their lives. I pray, Lord God, all that fog, all that lack of clarity, all the confusion in the head. I pray that you deliver them. And I pray that you show them the bright future that is ahead of them. I pray that you show them how awesome, how beautiful is the wonderful things that you have in store for them. I believe that everyone praying with me this morning, I believe that their future is bright. I believe, Lord God, that the best is ahead of them. I believe, Lord God, that greater is the wonderful things that you have prepared for them. I believe with all my heart that you got some awesome things in store for them. And that's what I pray for today. That's what I cry out, Lord God, in prayer on behalf of my brother, my sister. That you surprise them. That you bless them. That you make a plan. That you make it clear. That you show them, Father, the wonderful things that you're preparing for them. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you bless them with good news. Bless them, Father God, with great news. I know I'm praying with people, Father. That... They've been in a season of bad news. It seems that everywhere they turn, everything they do, it, Lord God, it, it, it leads into bad news. Lord God, they are familiar with bad news. They've been in a season, Lord God, all that they, they can see is bad news, but I pray that you change it. I pray, Lord God, for a season of good news. I pray that you bless them with good news today. I pray th this day for a day of good news. I pray that you bless them. Let them experience good news today. I pray, Father God, for phone calls. For those who are waiting for a phone call of good news. I pray, Father God, bless them. With that phone call they're waiting for. With that email, with that, Lord God, with that connection. With that, Lord God, surprise. Father God, whatever they are praying and believing you for, I pray that you bless them. I pray that you change their situation around. I pray, Heavenly Father, 
Let your kingdom come and your will be done in the life of my brother, my sister. I pray, Heavenly Father, let them see goodness in the land of the living. I pray this day, Lord God, speak to your people. Speak to their hearts. Show them, Father, the bright future that is ahead of them. Show them, Father God, the wonderful things that you have prepared for them. I believe with all my heart that everyone who are crying out in prayer this morning, everyone who are praying with me this morning, Lord God, you have wonderful things in store for them. I pray that you break every cycle, every cycle of bad news, every cycle, Father God, of bad news after bad news, one bad situation after the next. I pray, Father God, that you surprise them. I pray that you bless them. I pray, Father God, that you get them into the place that they need to be. I pray that you align. Lord God, I pray that you align them with your will. I pray, Father God, that you show them with clarity the things that you have prepared for them. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus, every spirit of confusion, every work of the enemy, to frustrate them. Every spirit of the world. Every devil that is trying to. Is stop them from praying. Father God we are praying with people. Who are taking this challenge for the first time. For the very first time in their walk with you Lord God. They are taking the challenge. To pray for this home. To pray the whole month. To pray every day. To pray and to seek your face. Lord God, things are changing. They are stepping to something new. And the devil, the father of all lies, the father of lies, the devil, the deceiver. I know that enemy is trying to stop, trying to stop this person from praying and seeking your face. I pray that you rebuke. I pray, Lord God, that you break the powers of the enemy. Every spirit of distraction, every spirit of lie, every spirit, Lord God, lying spirit that is trying to stop, to abort this man, this woman's purpose. Every spirit that comes with a purpose to abort, to stop, to hinder their walk with you, to hinder them to grow spiritually. To hinder them to give themselves fully into you. Into the, the, the walk of the narrow path. I pray Lord God. That you deliver them. I pray Father that you bless them. I pray in the name of Jesus. Bless your people. Fill your people this morning. I pray that you fill them with hope. I pray that you fill them. With the hope from above. I pray that you bless them. I pray Father God show. The wonderful things that you have prepared for them. I pray Father God. This day. I pray that you bless. I pray that you surprise them. I pray that you give signs. I pray that you confirm your word. Say the eyes. Has, has not seen and ears have not heard the things that you have prepared for those who love you. But you have revealed them to the Holy Spirit. The way that you show us, the way that you reveal the, your plans and purpose for our lives is through the wonderful Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. And we pray, Holy Spirit, reveal to us the heart of God. Reveal to us the hidden things. The wonderful things, the things that God prepared for us. I pray, Father God, for my brother, my sister. That they will understand that the bright is their future. They will understand that greater is their future. 
they will understand that you don't make mistakes. Lord God, this person that is praying with me this morning, they are beautiful and wonderful made by you. They are not a mistake. They were not brought forth into this world to suffer, to die, to go through hell on earth, hoping to make to heaven one day. No, Father, you brought them forth with a great purpose. You brought them forth with an amazing calling and purpose in life. None of them, none of them, Lord God, were created by you to suffer and to go through misery in this world. You create them with great purpose. You create them, Lord God, with amazing purpose and destiny. I pray, Father, reveal to my brother, my sister, Review them. Show them the truth. I rebuke the lies of the devil. Everyone, Father God, who are praying with me, that they have a hard time in trusting and believing you. They have a hard time trusting that you have good things in store for them. Father God, every lie of the devil, every spirit of confusion, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Everyone they have this stronghold, this lie, this belief, Lord God, that they have a hard time believing in the truth. They have a hard time believing that you have good things in store for them. Lord God, they have, they have no problem believing for others. They have no problem in thinking, oh yeah, God got something great for so and so, for this person, that person, but not for me. Lord God, some of them, they don't feel qualified. Some of them don't feel that they are worthy of your blessings, but the devil is a liar. Everyone praying with me, they are worthy because of Jesus, what Jesus did. Because of what Jesus did, we are all qualified. Is the blood of Jesus, is the finished work of the cross that qualifies us. Is his love and kindness. It's his mercy and grace. And I pray for every one of my precious brothers and sisters that they'll understand. They'll understand. They'll get it. Finally, they'll get it. That you you love them and you have wonderful things in store for them. You didn't bring them to this place, you didn't bring them to this world. To live like they are lost. You call them to walk into greatness. Father God, this morning I pray. I pray specifically that you heal them emotionally. Every one of them. That they have a hard time in accepting your love. Accepting. That you have good things in store for them. Because the way that they were brought up. Because of the ways that they are taught. The things that they heard. Even from family. The things that they grew up hearing. That they're not good enough. They're not smart enough. They are born to suffer. Their lives will never change. I rebuke this lies in the name of Jesus. We all have fall short from the glory of God. None of us are qualified by our self-righteousness. None of us are qualified because we are good enough, because we are, we are good enough on our own standard by our own righteous work and our, 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 our religious work. Our, uh, 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 Father, we all, we all have fallen short. We all need your grace. Lord God, we all have fall short. We all need your mercy. We all need you. And I pray for my brother, my sister this day. I pray that they will understand that they are loved by you. They will understand that they are precious in your sight. They will understand that they are loved. And that is not by work that no one should glory. 
is not by work, it's by the grace of God. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, for those who struggle, those who have a hard time in accepting your love, they feel that they have to earn your love. They feel, Father God, that they have to do things in order to be accepted. I pray that you show them that you love them the way they are. And you are the one that cleans. You are the one that set us free. You are the one that changes us. Is by the Spirit of the Lord. Is by the Holy Spirit that we change. Is by the Holy Spirit that you change our lives. You are the one that changes as we yield, as we surrender to you. I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you bless my brother, my sister. I pray in the name of Jesus that you fill them. That you bless them. I pray, Heavenly Father. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in the life of my brother, my sister. I bless them. I bless them in the precious name of Jesus. I pray. Reveal. Show them. Your kindness and your mercy. Show them the wonderful things, the wonderful blessings that you have prepared for them. I bless them in the name of Jesus. I bless my brother, my sister, and I pray, surprise them this day. Surprise them. Bless them. Lord God, we all love surprises. We all love to be surprised. We all love, Lord God, when we receive the blessing, a gift. Oh, I pray surprise them. Show them that they are not alone. Show them they are not alone. <laughs> Surprise them with your goodness. Surprise them with your blessings. Show them. Show them. There's nothing in this world that is better than your blessings. There's no material thing. There's nothing that this world can offer us that is better than your presence. Is better than your love. Is better by your surprises. Oh God, you know each and every one of us. You know how to move our hearts. You know how to touch our hearts. We all made differently. We all wired different. We all, Lord God, there are different things that touch our hearts and you know them. I pray that you touch this person's heart today. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you surprise this man, this woman, with your goodness, with your kindness, with your mercy and your grace. I pray that you surprise them. I pray that you give them a sign. I pray that you give them a sign. I pray that you give them a direction. I pray that you give them a clarity. I pray that you speak to them loud and clear. I pray, speak to their hearts. I pray, show them that they are not alone. Show them that they are not alone. My brother, my sister, you are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. You are not alone. God got a wonderful things in store for you. God is about to do amazing things in your life. Receive, expect, believe that greater are the things that God is preparing for you. He is a good God. 
He is a good God. He's not a God that plays with our feelings. He is not playing, hiding and seek with you. He is not mad at you. He is not hiding from you. He loves you. His purpose for your life is beautiful. There's nothing in this world. There's nothing that you can live. There's nothing that you can come. No plans. There's nothing. There's nothing that you can dream, that you can think, that you can come up with that can compare to the dreams of God, to the plans of God for your life. And I pray that you receive the direction of God for your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you as your brother in Christ. I bless you to walk in newness of life. I bless you. If you receive, say amen. Say, I receive in Jesus' name. Pray this after me. Say, Dear Lord, I surrender my life to you. Say, Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. I surrender my whole heart to my life to you. Forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me by your blood cleanse me wash me clean forgive me of all my sins change my life be my lord and savior say dear god i want to live the plans and purpose for my life, I surrender my life to you. Surprise me today. Show me your goodness. Show me your mercy. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Reveal to me the wonderful things that you prepared for me. I surrender my life to you. Raise me up to be a testimony in your hand. I surrender all to you. Amen. And praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, receive. Receive. God loves you. God loves you. Receive. Receive the love of God. When you understand the love of God, when you understand, when you step into the love of God, when you understand how loved, how much God loves you, when you receive the love of God, everything changes in your life. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you receive, say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Lord. 
praise God, people of God, I believe that God is going to surprise you. He's going to surprise you with his goodness. He's going to surprise you with his kindness. He's going to surprise you with his direction for your life. He is going to surprise you. He is a good God. He is a loving God. Receive the love of God. I declare the anointing of God is breaking the lies of the devil. There are many people getting set free this morning from the lies of the devil. The lies that you are not loved. The lies that God doesn't care. God God is delivering from the lies of the enemy. Every lie from the pit of hell, every lie of the devil, I break the lies of the enemy. I break every lie that you have believed. Every lie that you have believed, I break the lies of the enemy. I break the lies of the devil. And I declare freedom to your life. I declare freedom to your life. I declare deliverance to your life. No matter what you have done with your life. No matter what you have done. No matter where you are. No matter how broken. No matter how deep in sin you are. God loves you. And he is the only one that can rescue you. He is the only one that can take you out of this place. He is the only one that can put you standing. He is the only one that can rescue you. He loves you. Yet when we are still sinners, Christ died for us. The Lord is coming to your rescue. He is coming to your rescue. He is coming to your rescue. He accepts. He loves you. He accepts you. You are accepted by God. And He changes you. He don't leave the way you are. He changes you for the good. He's the only one that can change you. He's the only one that can set you free from the lies of the devil. From the grip of Satan. He is the only one that can put you standing on, your, on solid ground. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Receive the love. The love. The real love. The love that this world cannot offer to you. The love, the real love, the love of the Father. This love is free. This love is real. This love can transform your life. It's the love of God. You cannot buy this love. You cannot earn this love. It's all giving free. As you accept the love of God, as you open your heart to the Lord, to God, as you allow God to enter and to change your life, He is gentle, He is merciful. He knocks at the door of your heart today. If you open your heart, He will come in. If you open your heart, He will change your life. I pray in the name of Jesus that God changes your heart, that God changes your life, 
that God blesses you. If you receive us, say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Precious people of God, receive what God is doing. Receive the love of the one who will never leave or forsake you. Receive the love of the Lord. Receive the love of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. If you receive, say amen. Say thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, the precious people of God. Let me pray this final prayer over you. Open your hands and receive in the name of Jesus this final prayer. My precious brother and sister, the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I bless you in the name of Jesus. I bless you to walk in the love of God. I bless you. God will bless and surprise you with his goodness and kindness. I bless you in the name of the Lord. If you receive, say amen. Say, I receive in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. What a great blessing. What a great joy. What a great blessing. My brother, my sister, what a great joy. I know that God is doing something powerful in your life. People of God, I want to remind you this morning that we are praying life twice a day. Amen. We pray at 8 a.m. Here on my prayer channel, Evangelist from the Press, on my main channel. And we also pray in the evening at 8 p.m. Amen. Monday through Friday. If you like to join us tonight, if you like to pray with us tonight again, all that you need is to go to my second channel called the Prayer Channel. The link is right below this video in the description below. The first link you see, please click the link to subscribe to the uh, Night Prayer channel. So click the link and it will take you to my second channel. And there you can join us, you can, you know, pray with us, you can subscribe to the channel and pray with us every evening. Amen. Praise God. I appreciate you if you can do me a big favor. I would appreciate you if you can share this video. Also subscribe to the channel. Comment. Help us to get the word out. I appreciate you. Amen. Praise God. People of God, let me pray a, a final prayer for all of you, for my ministry partners, for those who support this channel. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother, my sister. I pray for all of them. I pray for those who share our videos, those who pray for us, those who support via super chat, super stickers, through the links in the description of this video. I pray that you bless them. Lord God, I thank you for every one of them, for their kindness, for their generosity, for their grace. Lord God, for, 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 for their loving kindness, for their support. They are not required to support this channel. They are not required, the Lord God, to share our videos. They are not required, Lord God, to sow anything. But they do because they appreciate, Lord God, their hard work. And I pray, Lord God, that you bless them. I pray, Father God, that you bless them for their radical generosity, their kindness, their love. I pray that you bless each and every one of them abundantly, I pray. Bless them abundantly. Bless them and bless their household. For the glory of your name, I pray. Amen and praise God. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, I love you. I look forward to pray with you tonight and also tomorrow morning. Praise God. People of God, have a wonderful day. And I pray that good news will come on your way today. I pray that this day will be marked by good news. 
the good news of God, the good news of the gospel, the good news, the goodness of God. I pray that God surprise you this day. And I pray that God revives your soul. That God shows you how much he loves you. How much he loves you. I love you. God bless you. Shalom. Peace. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.